Wasa ieti Aaron trip ka khashnuk yu khat dosak deshitan ayakhat yeshit dakh ayakhat Hi how are you my name is Aaron trip and khashnuk is my shinket name I am from the deshitan clan from Raven House yeshit Today we are going to be reading Let's Go a Harvest Story by Hannah Lindoff illustrated by Michaela Goad Go and get a bucket and come along with me Let's hike into the woods to find a cedar tree. We'll fill our pail with long bark strips. If there's time, let's pick spruce tips. Spring is here, the ground is soft. Watch for puddles as you walk. Auntie's going to soak the bark and weave a hat when night grows dark. What do you see there? I see we've got two girls with buckets and then we've got Auntie stripping the cedar bark from the tree. Ooh, and now it's nighttime. You can see the sky is dark, and there's Auntie sitting at the table. What is she doing at the table? Can you tell? Looks like she's weaving while she watches. Go and find a bucket. We'll take it down the path. The Yana Eight is growing fast. By the shore, we'll find a patch. We'll fill the bucket with the stalks and peel a few as we walk. Yana Eight is my favorite snack with gumboots jarred in seal fat. All right, where are they? They're near the water and they're gathering wild celery. Yana Eight, and they got their buckets. Jump and get the buckets, the small ones you can carry. The gentle rains and longer days have ripened up the berries. Let's climb the hill behind our house and fill our buckets and our mouths. Orange, red, yellow, they're all sweet for ravens, bears, and kids to eat. Who do you see picking berries? There's Raven right up there with a berry in their mouth. And then right down here, I see Bear and Bear is eating them. Ooh, and this one's my favorite picture. What do you see? She's here with her bucket, and there's berries all around her. They look like salmon berries to me. Look inside this bucket. There's something tasty there. Look at all these fresh caught crab. We've got enough to share. For sweet white meat and bright orange shells, our crab pots drift below the swells. A bright red buoy marks our pot. It's fun to see what we've caught, but more fun still is when we eat. We sit and laugh and pick the meat. And you see them there in a boat? They're on the water, and look at there. There's a line going all the way down here to where the crabs are. Run and pack a bucket. Pack your long raincoat. Pack a snack and pack some ice. We're going on the boat. When Grandpa saying makes a set, just see the salmon fill the net. Smoke it, bake it, pickle it, dry. It's always great to eat sockeye. What do you see? What's happening here? There's the salmon. These are all salmon right here and they're all hanging on this big piece of wood, getting ready to dry. Grab a little bucket and come walk with me. We're going to the meadow to pick some wild tea. The cold has turned some leaves brown, but look for green plants on the ground. They smell like summer's musty ripeness, the long lush days now behind us. We'll boil a pot on grandma's stove, the best thing for a runny nose. Here they are sitting by the water, and they're drinking their tea over here. Ooh, there's snow in the trees. I can see snow resting on all the branches, in the bushes. Go and snag a bucket. We need one more seat. Daddy's got a great big buck, and now he cooks the meat. Put a pillow on the pail to fit one more around the table. Call the hunter, say hug to brother, auntie, and uncle too. Ooh, look at them, sitting around the table in their house, getting ready to eat. 
There's dad with the stew. Mmm. I'm looking for a bucket. Can you find one in the dark? Winter tides draw back the waves and now the beach lies stark. Here where ocean has changed to land, fill a bucket with cockles and clams. We need a rake, we need warm clothes, we need a light. Now off we go. And what do you see? There she is with her bucket and she's got a light and she's wearing her warm clothes. Then there's people in the distance. We're ahead of her. There's someone right here. Already looks like they're digging. And then there's a couple people over here. There's one right there. And then there's somebody there who's probably digging. And they've got a little bucket. There's the water. There they are. Continuing their search. She looks like she's found something down here. Look what's in the bucket. Herring eggs on branches. Tiny eggs like yellow beads on moccasins we dance in. Herring spawning in the sound means springtime isn't far from now. Crunch, crunch, pop, pop. Let's sit and eat while the elders talk. Ooh, there's the branches in the water. And maybe you can see all the little white on the page. Those are the herring eggs gathering on the branches and they're bringing them into the boat. Come and see the cedar hat, Auntie's just now done. The land is filled with dewy leaves stretching toward the sun. Oh, go and get a bucket and come along with me. Let's hike into the woods to find a cedar tree. There she is with her new hat that was just woven. And they're looking up at this cedar tree. What do you think they're gonna do with the cedar tree? Probably they're going to strip it and weave more hats and baskets. And they have everything here that they gathered. The end. Gunashish.